Hello guys, my name is Jordan, and today I'm going to teach you a super easy way to clone yourself in Final Cut Pro. The first step is to film your video. Set up your camera on a tripod and don't touch it after you press record. Instead of turning the camera off every time you move, leave the camera alone and take it all in one shot. The next step is to cut out all of the footage of you moving. A super easy shortcut to do this is to press the B key on the keyboard to get the blade tool, and then press the A key to get the select tool. Then you can just press backspace on your footage that's selected and delete it. Once you have all movement clips cut out, you want to stack the videos on top of each other and make the length of all of the videos the same length of the shortest clip. Once all of your videos are the same length, you want to take the draw mask tool and drag it on top of the first clip. When you select the first clip, it says click to add a control point, which is exactly what we're going to do. Add control points all around the first person and make sure they link back up with the first control point. As you can see, once you add the control point, the other person appears. What the draw mask tool does is it removes just that part of the video and puts it on top of the video below. Next, you wanna add another draw mask on the second video and add control points around the second person. If I disable the bottom clip, you can see how the mask tool has created two special clips of just that area where I selected. The final step is to create a compound clip. Select all three of your clips, right click, click new compound click, and then click OK. Now as you can see, all three of the clips have been collapsed on top of each other. I hope you guys enjoyed this super easy tutorial to clone yourself in Final Cut Pro. If you did, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.